the other thing I picked up is uh, this a uh, two Semco Deluxe Trimming Centers. This is what they look like. Um, I always see them in other people's like craft setups and stuff, and I always thought they looked really gorgeous on the walls. But I could never find them for cheap. Um, so these were on sale and reduced down to $21 each. So I got two. And I had a $10 gift card as well. So it went down to... Uh, I think I paid $36 for both of them um, in the end. So I'm really happy with that. And I'll try to set that up today. Okay, I got both my units built. Um, the stick for this one here which looks like that actually it came broken looks like someone had built this before and taken it down and returned it um, I don't know if that bit was missing to begin with or like they've broken it themselves and then returned it secretly <laughs> so Mr. Moose is gonna fix it for me but I think it's okay even if he's not able to fix it for me because um, I could use just use that area for stacking still but um, also, it's not hard to fix, it's just a piece of dowel. So, I'm not going to take it back because I already built it before I realized that that was broken. Um, so, otherwise, it's fine. They're a lot bigger than I realized. I thought they were quite small, but they're actually pretty wide. Like, maybe a meter wide? Almost? Um, and they're supposed to be wall mountable, but I'm not sure if I will. They're pretty heavy, so I think as long as they're leaning back against the wall, they should be stable. But I'll check with Mr. Moose. He might think it's not safe to do that, in which case we'll mount them. But um, I'm really happy with them. They're really cute. I should be able to fit a lot of my little things on there. Um, yeah, they're really pretty. Mr. Moose has decided that these are not stable, not attached to the wall. So we are going to go to Mitre 10 before it closes. Okay, so um, Mr. Moose has mounted one of them. There's a piece of timber at the back because there's only two studs and then so it needs to be a bit more reinforced. So that way that's um, drilled into both the studs and then they'll hang off the piece of timber. So one's going there and one's going there. There'll be a little bit of timber showing in the middle but that's fine because I'm going to hang something from it I think. And then this side we're going to have like the bar across the bottom and then I'll use that for something and then this side's not going to have it probably. Um, which is fine because there'll be some things with like cables that I want to like string through here and then because all my power bricks are like along here so um, my desk is really really messy right now like everything has just fallen over so I think I'm gonna and there's dust and like wall bits everywhere so once he's finished with that I'm gonna like sort of wipe down and completely clear off my desk and like reset it up which is what I do best when I'm procrastinating. Um, I'm really happy with the paper that I use. It would have been nicer if that blue one kind of blended in a bit better where it joins, but that's okay. The bottom one is, I'll do a close up later actually. Um, and yeah, I'm really, really happy with these. If there had been more, I probably would have gotten one more because it would have been nice to have one here as well. Like very pretty but I'm really happy with these units I've never had anything like this before like anything pretty for storage so I'm quite excited so I just googled the deluxe trimming center which is what this is called by Semco they've discontinued it so there's actually no more of them floating around that I can even find just through Google um, unless some spotlight stores are holding on to them so I think I might have gotten the last two in our area which is you know, a bit sad because it's really nice, but at the same time, it's like, well, got the last two, yay. Um, they actually recommend the the recommended retail price of, for these is a hundred dollars each, and then hi Adam, and then they're on sale for sixty dollars, 
but mine was reduced to $30, and I think $30 was meant to be the sale price, but because the barcode wasn't scanning because it's been discontinued, the girl thought that it was meant to be $30 full price with 30% off that, which is why I got each one for $21. Um, so I actually got these for basically a fifth of the recommended retail price, and I am pretty excited about that. Okay, the lighting's not the greatest, but I thought I'd show you guys what wallpaper I picked for my deluxe trimming sentence. So, this one has uh, blue. It's not stripey, that's just the light. Um, so it's light blue and spotty. It's got lots of desserts and teas and coffees on it. And then this next level is coffees and coffee art. And then the bottom is a macarons and in order to not like damage the paper so I can use it later if I want to I actually just put in two sheets um, at a time and just folded them so the whole sheets folded over that's why they kind of stick out a little bit but once I put stuff there it'll be fine and then this side it's a pink background with strawberry vanilla cupcakes and white chocolate strawberries in the middle is Mr. Moose. Stop what you're doing behind me, please. This layer is chocolates, which is maybe my favorite layer. And then the bottom is two tones of cherries. So there's pink cherries and red cherries, Mr. Moose. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm in here. He's standing behind me grabbing my butt. I am not. I'm actually looking to make Your mother watches these. Um, and uh -huh. and then the bottom is like the height that I can put my printer underneath one of them and then I'm not sure what I'll put under the other one but I can also put some stuff on top there's like a little ledge inside so I'll be able to decorate it that way too okay guys I thought this would be a good place to stop and film a little bit it's 11 23 p.m. it's very dark and, oh, you won't be able to see them, but all the doggies are asleep in the lounge room. Um, this is where I'm up to with my, um, my, I don't know what to call these, ball shelving units. Um, I can't go back too much further because the phone's plugged into the laptop, but I don't really know what to put up the top. I put my birds up the top because I do want to collect more of these. Um... And I think they would look really cute all standing up there. And I want to hold on to that birthday card because it sings and it makes me happy whenever I listen to it. Even though there is another one pinned to the cork board because I like it that much. And then that's the froggy birthday card um, from Mr. Moose from... When was it? Maybe... Was it... It wasn't this year. It must have been last year. Anyway. And at the moment I've got... Oops. At the moment I've got some glues up there. If you can hear a weird noise, it's Alfie licking the bed that he's lying in. He's asleep and he's licking it. Anyway, I've got... The glues are mainly there just because the basting spray is up there, the quilting spray. Um, it's too tall to go anywhere else and I don't really have anywhere to put it, but I do have a lot of glues. I've got more than that actually, I've got a drawer full of them, so I was just going to pop them up the top for now. Um, a little bit further down I've got my big Yankee candles that I've already used up and I've got one burning at the moment. It's um It is Christmas cookie, I think. Yeah, it's Christmas cookie. And I have one more in my bathroom that is I think it might be red velvet cake actually. I think or it's uh raisin bread. And further below I've got um, my gel nail stuff, and then there's more here, the tall stuff that didn't fit. And I've got some Yankee tarts and some Ikea tea lights. I use the tea lights inside my little desk, um, candle, which I use sometimes. And, um, along the top here I've got, just for now, I'm probably going to move them because they're only decorative and they're not doing anything. Um, these little tins with some duct tape flowers that I made ooh, a year ago maybe two years ago whoops 
it's watermelon duct tape. Um, but I made some really cute flowers. And I wanted to make a bouquet of them, but I think I ran out of watermelon duct tape and I couldn't find it anymore. So that's probably on hold for now. And down there I've got some of the glitters and gems that go on my nails. And my iPod mini, which I need to do something about. I need to put some music on it for the car probably and leave it in the car. I've got my little <laughs> Christmas USB tree. I love this thing. I have it on every day. And I've actually figured out through the mess of cables that I can actually plug it into this brick, which is to charge my phone as well. So, And then I've got some tins here. Um, this one holds like pencils and pens, like writing pens. This one's hot. This one holds um, uh, color pencils and some types of coloring pens, like textures and Copics and stuff. And then this one holds like brush pens and fine point pens. And then I've got another one in my bedroom, and I'm gonna put um, probably like my crayons in there. So there's a bit of space, but I would actually like to have matching ones, so. I've got some matching tins in my bedroom. I don't want to go out there at the moment because it'll wake the dogs up. But I might swap those over actually. And then I hung up a little hook. It's just got <laughs> the little um, the little buttons that Mr. Moose got me as part of my advent calendar. I don't want to lose them. So yeah, and I popped some of my washi tape up here. Um, there's a little bit more down here that wouldn't fit and also I tend to use these quite often so at the moment so um, Alfie go to sleep please so um, I've just got them sticking out and I've got my little craft cutting mat down there and then here I've got the little froggies that my mom sent me I love them uh, just some sticky to-do lists my Kiki K um, like snap out ruler that's really useful for cutting washi. A little bit more tape down there, and I haven't figured out what to put out here. Um, my desk is an absolute mess. There's nothing has anywhere to go right now. Um, I have figured out that along the bottom, I'm gonna have my printer at the back because it fits perfectly underneath. We measured it to make sure that it fits. Um, I have to figure out where to put my lights because that's probably an important one. I might have like the right one sitting in the middle so it can kind of stick up out of there. I'm not sure. And then um, some of this stuff here is just going to sit along the bottom there I think. Um, these are just things that are short but like they're too wide to actually sit on the shelf. Um, what are you doing Alfie? And the problem, the main problem I had is, I'll back up a bit so you can see, but my whole desk was actually originally set up to do um, like sewing on, like industrial type sewing for my shop. And I haven't had my shop open for quite a few months because of uni, so um, I need to convert it a little bit and make it a little bit more uni friendly because that's my priority this year. I'm really not going to have very much time at all to sew. Um, and stuff like that, so, um, yeah, I need to, I'm gonna probably do something over with that section. I might pop the machines under the table for now, because I haven't used them in a little while. Um, I would like to get some projects going, but I just don't have time right now, and I really need to prioritize uni and work, so, um, I'm gonna be able to have a bit more space along here. And I've got some mailing stuff down there that's my mailing station I kind of want to keep that set up because it is useful to have so I might put it along the back I'm not sure and then that black cubby that was sitting on my desk um, earlier today I took it down and it's empty for now but I actually really want to keep it and use it because it's a really good handy size for little things um, and you know just the usual things I've got some work from Sue, presents that she gave me, got a box of bunnies there, 
I have a cow, my printer is sitting on top of the moose that's wearing a shower cap. And the cat tower is in my study, even though Adam doesn't get dry food in here. He gets dry food in Miss Moose's room, so I need to sort that out. And I've got a laundry rack here as well that I need to put in the laundry or tidy away because we don't use it anymore. We don't actually have to hang anything on clothes horses now because we have the new washing line. Um, I've pulled off a few things from this shelf. Um, I'm not going to be able to empty it all out because all of this stuff is big, but essentially kind of what I wanted to get done is, um, you see I've got this shelving over here and it's got all this fabric, which is great. And I've got, um, fabric separated into boxes here, which are separated for like sp specific types of scraps. So they're too small to like be bundled as fabric. Um, this is all like stationary and down here these cubes are all things in tubs like my supplies like craft supplies like decadent stuff and um, sewing bits and pieces some packing supplies and stuff like that. So what I kind of wanted to get was essentially this emptied out and so I can roll fabric onto cardboard and have it standing all along here. Because I think that'd be really pretty. Um, and I think if I can get this whole thing emptied, I think I could actually fit all of this fabric onto cardboard through here. And then the problem is, I don't know how much you can see because it's dark in here. But I've got tubs of fabric down here. And a lot of it is made stuff that's store stuff. So I kind of need to get it, keep it packed away properly. But a lot of it is just bulky fabric, like toweling. I have heaps of toweling. And it's just really hard to stat, like to store anywhere because it like it drops crap everywhere. So I don't know. Gotta figure that out. Under there is another big tub. It's full of random bits of fabric from Abbotsford that my mom gave me. And that I don't want to throw away because I think would be useful. So I've got to figure out what to do with that as well. And we've actually decided to take this Ikea chair to Abbotsford um, because no one uses it here. Um, I don't want to leave it out where the dogs always have access to it because I don't want them to accidentally do anything to it. Um, but here it just kind of becomes an extra piece of furniture we don't need. So I'm going to take it back to Abbotsford minus all the stuffy creatures and the printer. And that way I'll have a little bit of extra room as well. And then I think... We wanted to remove the pool gates here that is blocking the access and put them outside because we need to block off a bit of the fence that the dogs are getting to um, with our next door neighbor's dog. And um, I haven't quite figured out what's going on here. At the moment all my uni stuff just sits in this pink thing, which is fine. And then Don Mokun is always here because he's normally the bag I take out with me. So he's just got like my wallet and everything in there. But. This has been a very long update, but basically that's what I'm up to. And I'm going to stay up as long as it takes to get my desk cleared and like in a workable situation. Because what I'm doing now is what Mr. Moose likes to refer to, and I also refer to as procrasty organization. Where I'm just organizing for the sake of not working on an assignment. <laughs> Which is a completely fair term. Um... My only rule of thumb for <laughs> my only rule of thumb for procrastinating is that it has to be productive procrastinating. Like it has to be cleaning or I need to be grocery shopping or doing things on my to-do list. Like it has to be something that I was gonna do anyway. Um it can't just be like, you know, sitting playing DS or watching TV. Like it has to be something that's actually achieving something so I don't feel bad about it. That's my logic right there. It is 12.30 in the morning. Here's an update. Um, so I got my desk all cleaned off. Everything set back up. The only section I haven't done is there. Um, that's because um, this stuff is kind of going to stay. Maybe not there, but it'll kind of stay out. And then the machines, I don't actually have anywhere to put them yet. Um, I don't want to put them all on full yet because it's... 
I don't know if you can see, but it's really, really dirty at the moment because of all the drilling and stuff. So I need to vacuum before I can put anything back on the floor. But um, I got this stuff set up behind um, my gel nail polish uh, UV light. It's going to sit there because that's a perfect spot. I can plug it in just at that extension point behind it. And I've got my light sitting in between and it sticks out. And I've got this Kiki K box here that just has some extra um, notepad paper and stickers and stuff. Um, my printer is gonna live there. I only ever use the front, um, the front filler tray for paper, um, and then it just prints out the top so it can stay there. That's not a problem. I like to keep it closed because the house does get dusty, and I don't want to have to clean out the um, nozzle heads. And um, I always use this section of felt here for tea and candles and, you know, stuff I don't want to stain the table, although it's looking quite a little bit dirty now.